Hey everyone, I'm just going to do a little step-by-step um, -step process how to uh, calibrate ID change and bind to your new uh, Dragonlink version 2 with the, uh, the latest firmware. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, things that you're going to need, you're going to need a battery to power your receiver externally and an antenna on installed on your uh, your unit jumper pin which should automatically come installed on channels 5 and 6 of the signal which is the top row okay this is the top the side with your SMA and the bottom is your circuit board okay so it's just like a just like a uh, servo connection negative is on the bottom positives in the center and signal is your top row. So just make sure that your jumper is on 5 and 6 of the top row. Okay, like so. So I'm just going to install this right now on this one. So just to verify, channel 5 and 6. Okay, there's 8 through, so you can just count to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So basically, the first step we're going to do is calibrate. You need to hold the button and wait till we get a red indication on the LED. Once it is a red indication, you can release it and it will flash between red and green. So we're going to do that now. So I've already got hooked it up to my radio. So you hold your button, okay, and you can power it. And once you see a red light, just release. Okay, now it's flashed between green and red. This will stay like this during the entire process of the calibration. The receiver, right, channel one. Just make sure that your negative is on the bottom and you can always double check it. So once you get power, you should see three indication lights. Green is your status. Blue is your link, red is your power. Now you just leave this like so, and this will stay flashing. It's recommended to leave it, take it um, a few feet away. So you can just put it across the room or whatnot. You can put this wherever. You can lay it over on your countertop or in the next room if you like, but it's ideal to leave it at least six feet away and let that run like that for approximately 15 minutes. So we'll do that now and uh, we'll see you back in 15 minutes. Okay. The um, After calibration, our next step is to change the ID. So to do that, it's very simple. Hold your button, power on your receiver, and keep it held until the light goes black. So basically until the light turns off. So we'll push the button. And just hold it. There's a yellow. There's a red. And we are off. Okay, once it turns off you can release it. So what this has done now is change the ID. Depower it. Now the next step is receiver binding. Okay guys, uh, we're almost done. It's just the third and final step and that's uh, binding our receiver to our transmitter. And to do that we just hold our button, give it power, and wait till we get a yellow indication light. And once we do get an indication of a yellow light, we release and then it should flash yellow rapidly. So we'll do that now. We'll just get situated here. Okay. Hold the button. 
and give it power. So we'll wait till we turn yellow. And now we're flashing yellow repeatedly. Okay. Now we need to power up our receiver while this is flashing yellow. Same as before. Remember, no jumper pin. Take that out after you do your calibration. So we'll just make sure negative's on the bottom and we'll give power. Now our status light, our link light, sorry, will go out. And now you should just have your status and your power. And do power and take the power off. Okay, now we've got that done. We can reboot as normal without holding any buttons. Plug our servo in. We'll just plug it into, we'll go with uh, channel one. Remember, same thing, negative on the bottom. Solid green, which means we're getting a, a, a good PPM. And we'll just power our receiver. So we'll just power it right over on uh, channel 8, negative on the bottom. Okay? You'll see for a sec, it goes red and then it goes blue. And then you can see we are bound. Channel one is throttle on JR. Okay, we just switch it. Channel to our next one is our aileron, I do believe. Concludes are the, the three easy steps to calibrate, ID change, and to bind your Dragon Link receiver. Uh, so, hopefully that helps anybody with the, the new version too. With the, with the upgraded firmware is a little bit different than the uh, the older, but uh, hopefully that helps somebody. And uh, thanks for watching.